Now we're going to learn how to render an emerald cut emerald. Before we begin, we need to prepare an A4 paper, pencils, HB for making light lines and 2B for the darker lines and shades. A light medium and dark green pencil, a fine black marker, an eraser, a ruler, a pencil sharpener and a bowl for the scraps, and a smudger. Use one side for the colors and one for the gray shades. To draw the emerald cut, we'll start by drawing a horizontal and a vertical line in the center of the page. Then we measure and mark where the outline of the stone will be with little pencil dots, using the center guidelines. Then we measure and mark where the facet lines will be, and then draw them in with a ruler. And we're ready to start rendering! The light source will come from the top right corner. We'll begin by adding a shade of light green next to the table and fade the colors as we get closer to the edges. On the other side of the stone, we begin to color the edges and go lighter as we move up towards the table. Now we add a shade of green in the top right corner of the table and fade it to white. Then we take the medium green color and repeat the exercise around the stone. But we're going to leave a little bit of the light green visible. Now we're going to add an accent with the darkest shade of green.
blend the colors. Then we add a hint of black with the 2B pencil. blend the colors. Then we add the medium and dark green color to the table, making sure that we leave a little bit of each color hue showing through. We just erase a little bit to keep the facets crisp. Then we add a hint of black with the 2B pencil. And blend it with the colors. To make the stone pop and look three-dimensional, we need to make the side opposite the light source darker. smoothen the colors with a smudger. The shadow needs to be strong, so we'll first draw the dark line and then add a medium light gray with the 2B pencil. and blend them with a smudger. The coloring has made the initial facet lines really light 
So we're going to go in and reinforce them on the darker side of the stone using the black marker. And then we fade the lines a little bit over on the other side. Now we'll add a little bit more darkness with a 2B pencil and blend it with a smudger. As a last touch, we'll erase some of the shading and create a pretty highlight effect. And our emerald is ready! This shading technique is pretty easy and can be applied to any square, trapeze, triangular or rectangular stone. So these are the takeaways. Determine your light source and put the drop shadow under the stone on the opposite side. Select three shades of the same color based on the type of stone you want to render. And fade the shades from light to dark the same way that we did here. Reinforcing the color shades with a 2B pencil and then the facet line with the black marker helps to make the stone pop. Keep your shading and coloring light to begin with. It's always easier to add darkness as you go along, rather than to remove it.